he knows just by simply saying, I put out a, a, a proposal, uh, a contract for black America. So all of a sudden that's, that's already signaling to black people. Hey, remember what I did for black people? Now they're against me. They are purposely targeting me for what I tried to do for black people. So now you're, it's, it's like you're trying to create a boogeyman and it's not to continue the progression of black excellence and 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 and, and uplifting black people it's it's for your business so there is one thing that upsets me the most when it comes to individuals participating in politics and and, and I w I'm never the one to say someone can't voice their opinion, uh, voice, uh, you know, what they feel could benefit people the most. Like, I, I would never say people cannot do that. That is your right. That is a human uh, 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 component. Like, you just have to always have an opinion. It's okay. But what, uh, what really upsets me is when celebrities try to use their platform into try trying to trick their their audience their their fans into a, a thought process that will only benefit themselves and i say all that like it, hopefully that makes sense but <laughs> once you understand what ice cube is trying to do it, it it just makes me wish that celebrities of his stature like if if you're a hip-hop artist do that now this is not like a lauren ingram type thing where like you know shut up and dribble but if you don't really if you're not fully knowledgeable and really taking politics and taking a stance and being serious about it don't waste people's time and once you see uh this this random rant that he decides to go on it sounds cute on surface but once you kind of dig a little deeper and, and kind of see some of the the obvious signs it's like bruh who who are you trying to fool mr ice cube i i at least see straight through it and i don't appreciate you trying to use your political uh uh, uh stance to only benefit yourself you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead, watch this clip, and let's have that conversation. It was cracking. You know what it is. It's your homeboy Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized mm -hmm. um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club, that pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. All right, so that, that part right there, this is what, they do this in TV shows and movies. Like they will always you know the antagonists or whoever you know they capture or, or or whatever the scenario is they will like drop hints on you know the people you know uh the man or you know uh, uh like a secret society and it's like can can you just tell us who like we're beyond the point to where we need to use these code names the gatekeepers uh the ones the people you know it's like can you, can you be a little bit more specific like you're on instagram for peace sake it's, it's not like you're you're locked up in some like fbi uh uh, uh prison or something it's like no you're on instagram probably at your crib 
you chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, but so far, if you're just listening to what he's saying, you're not too sure, at least for me, what he, what his point is. But soon enough, once he starts getting into it and start putting his whole just facade or, or just his whole just this whole entire video starts to become a little suspect. And then once once you kind of connect the dots, then it, 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 it makes sense. So let's go ahead and continue. So ever since ever since I put out the contract with Black America. Ah, oh, the contract. You know they've been fucking with me. Here and there, this and that. So he, since he put out the the contract for Black America, um, they have been after him. So now it starts. It's starting to feel like he's narrowing down who the they are. And I'm assuming because when Trump was in office, he went up to Trump, and of course Trump is going to play as if he's going to buy into it but of course trump doesn't give two cents about what ice cube has to propose for black america trump has never fought for black people before he was president he's never fought for black people after or during his presidency he's never fighting fighting for black people after his presidency so he doesn't give a damn about mr ice cube and his contract with black america if it's not benefiting donald trump in any significant way he does not care obviously you don't have to you don't have to be the smartest person in the room to understand that and i'm pretty sure ice cube understands that too but it's it's cute and it is beneficial to always have a bad guy for your fans to dislike and, and once you start to put it together he he's getting close to it then you're like oh is he really using politics and quote unquote de uh, democrats the reason for x y and z but it's cool you know <laughs> i expect that um you know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time. Oh, and you the know big three. With me. Obvious. Oh, the big three. I mean, the thing, the logo on his hat or or his big logo on his shirt, obviously. And, and I mean, if we scroll down, big three, big three, like, it, oh, <laughs> how, how could I have missed that? The big three, that's gatekeepers keeping him from uh uh i guess entering new opportunities uh democrats the contract with black america they didn't like it so they're they're uh, restricting his access uh from more opportunity with that i done made it you know plain simple and clear what they've been doing, you know, the NBA been fucking with us. Now, a lot of people might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We so, so once again, now I am lost. I am confused because at first he he started this off as if this is something we all need to be aware of. Like, hey, the gatekeepers, you know, these people are stopping us. I don't want to be in their club. So now they mad. And if you're not a part of the club, I'm assuming they're going to not allow you certain uh, uh, abilities or you know opportunities. So I assumed he was going to make me aware of something that I need to know. But it's starting to seem like he's just upset because his business ventures isn't working. I, I don't know, it, it, it almost seemed like he just wants to blame politics on something and i mean we when you try to you know snuggle up to uh an individual like donald trump you're going to get backlash i mean that's just human nature 
you know, you go left, the people on the right is not going to like you. You go right, the people on the left not going to like you. Every decision, everything that you do is going to have some sort of accountability, uh, 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 consequences, whatever you want to call it. So it's like, that wasn't a good look for you, Mr. Ice Cube. And now all of a sudden you think that's the reason, which I don't know everything, it's, it, it's possible. But I'm just assuming it's just his bad business venture. Not everything you touch is gonna turn to gold. I don't know. Let, let's hear what he has to say. We're still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So but we don't need them. You don't need them. You know? Oh, you don't. So, I don't need them then. OK, you don't. What am I, I going to do? OK, let's deal listen. with these motherfucking gatekeepers. Well, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> go on a. Fuck the gatekeepers podcast tour. And I'm going to go talk to everybody, everybody. You know, and get a chance to get my message out to the people. Um, What's the message? Be able to let people hear from me, you know. About what? And, and you know, you might agree, you might not. But the, the important thing is, you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know, some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And yeah. um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a crazy summer. It's going to be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. The big three. Hopefully I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as fuck in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy Ice Cube. Remember that. All right. Woo. All right. So let's 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 go ahead. Go back full picture here. All right. So. I am not upset that Ice Cube wants to uh, um, have, you know, this three on three basketball league uh, where it's formal uh, basketball, uh, NBA players, international players. Like, I'm not upset at that. If, if you're a black man, you can do whatever you want to do. It doesn't always have to be uh, for black people. It doesn't always have to center around uh, uh, black people. And I mean, that'd be cool. But, you know, we only get one life live it the way that you choose is right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I don't watch sports, so I honestly don't really care. So it's like, Ice Cube, do what you wanna do, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I support you, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, through, through spirit, I guess. But what really upsets me is when you try to use pol pol uh, uh, policies and, and you try to use people's uh, um, um, political alignment to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? I, I hope, hopefully that makes sense. Like he knows just by simply saying, I put out a, a, a proposal, uh, a contract for black America. So all of a sudden that's, that's already signaling to black people. Hey, remember what I did for black people? Now they're against me. They are purposely targeting me for what I tried to do for black people. So now you, it's, it's like you're trying to create a boogeyman and it's not to continue the progression of black excellence and, 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 and uplifting black people. It's, it's for your business. It's for your, your, your sports, uh, 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 company business that you're you're trying to put out there and once again it's like there's, there's nothing wrong with that but don't be like these dishonest disingen uh, disingenuous republicans who are known for creating boogeyman to upset their base and have so you know have a scapegoat for their failures and, and once again I, I don't know if the big three is failing or or if it's just bad marketing or if no one just wants to see it, I don't know what it is, but if Democrats are, you know, the gatekeepers and they're evil and they're just trying to, 
you know, uh, uh, corrupt the world and, and kill all straight people. I don't know. And, and eat kids. They are not concerned about your three on three basketball game. Why would they care about that? Now the contract, that's a whole different conversation, which once again, for some reason I can't find on this website. So I'm, I, I couldn't really critique it. And it was, it's been some years ago. So he's not pushing it towards, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to still continue the fight, you know, for black America. It's like, no, my big three is being, uh, attacked or it, I'm being blackballed because, you know, is this ice cube? We don't care. I mean, so I, Hey, I love your music. You know, I, it's, it's, it's a little controversial. That's a whole nother conversation, but at the end of the day, we work in 40, 50, 60 hours a week over here. Can we talk about that? Can we go on a tour talking about the injustices that common people have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis? Not no three-on-three -three basketball game? Bro, you, you know a lot of celebrities, wealthy people. Go talk to them. Go figure something out. But don't go on Instagram trying to rally up people on your side and, and try to pose as if Democrats are the ones holding you back. No one cares. That's what the problem is. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. But if you think I'm wrong, if you think everything that I said in this video is just factually incorrect, let me know in the comments. And as always, let's have that conversation.